Well, meanwhile, the president has summoned Communications Minister Stella Ndabeni Abrams. That's after she and Mdudu Zimanana appeared to have violated lockdown regulations. Social media users were angry when Manana posted this picture of the two not observing lockdown regulations. The post has since been taken down. Now, Manana claims that uh, the minister was at his house to collect personal protective equipment for a group of students working on COVID-19 digital services. He's apologized, saying he regrets posting the picture without the context. Context or not. It's not right. NC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte has called on members to abide by regulations. She also says NC members need to be leading by example. Ramaphosa says that he'll be meeting with the minister for an explanation. I have seen the picture of uh, Minister Ndabeni Abrahams uh, sitting at a luncheon with a number of friends and other people. I have asked her to come and see me. So she's going to come and see me, and I'm going to have a discussion with her about the impact of visuals like those on what we are trying to do. Uh, because we are trying to instill a clear message to all our people that social distance is important. Let us stay at home. Let us not be going around with visitations. And if you have to, it must be work-related. Like now, I have come here for a job-related visit to come and inspect what we are doing. After this, I am going straight home. I am not going to my sister's home. I'm not going to any relative's home. I'm going straight home because this is what the lockdown provisions should be all about. So, yes, I will be having a discussion with the minister. I love the creative explanation by Manana, but I mean, whatever it is, for whatever reason, yeah. you know, you put your little hand out, drop it on the floor, maybe, whatever information <laughs> or whatever it is that you're picking, quickly close the door. I mean, there's so many levels to the story that it just, uh, you don't even know where to begin, do you? For me, that whole statement, mm. if you want to call it that, it's, yeah. it's not worth... No, but the same sort of thing, is like it's patronizing, isn't it? It's, it is. It's just kind of it is. Just we're not, we're to not say, children. I'm sorry, and... We're not children. Because no. I understand that he went on radio shortly after that whole blunder and explained himself, but this whole picking up of protective gear mm. was never part of the explanation. So at which point did he decide that actually this should be the explanation? Yeah. And, and as we're saying, it's sort of as if we don't care, you know, posting it on social media. Maybe we must look abroad for examples of how it's done. In New Zealand, the health minister has been suspended for going onto the beach, for yeah. taking a walk on the beach. Yeah. In, in Scotland, Scotland, the head of a hospital, I think, she's had to resign. Also lost her job yeah. for going to her second. For breaking the rules. So what are you going to do, Mr. President?